Stephen is the last of three um, by me. Um, so yes, he's the baby of the family, even though he looks like a giant. As a baby, there are two things that were really striking as a baby. Um, when he cried, I remember Boulevard Supercenter had just opened up. And when we walked in there, Stephen started to cry and the scream that he let off. One woman held her head and said, oh my God, his pitch was just so high. It was crazy. We are a singing family. We um, sing, four of us, myself and um, Stephen and his two other siblings. So it's four, we call ourselves the Quartet because we're the Davis family. Um, he is an excellent singer, but one of the things I can tell you is he has a very good ear. He has always been interested in music and then uh, one day we were sitting down I don't remember what event we were watching on a television and he saw a young lady by the name of Jessica yep, playing the violin and he got so excited and said mom this is the instrument that I want to play. I kept stressing mom saying mommy I want to learn the violin mommy I want to learn the violin and it wasn't working out but luckily there was someone from our church that told us that there's a free program um, called NYOJ Nathal Youth Orchestra of Jamaica um, that allows young children at that time I was young so they allow young children to um, learn music free We had our struggles as a family, um, not really having the funds the way we want to or need to or needed to in order to, to feed this, um, this, this hunger that he had. We tried tutors, but it was just too expensive. There's no way we could have afforded um, the price that was going at the time. I have been playing the violin ever since I was 11 and now I'm 18, so that's seven years. I started out as a third violinist, which isn't really a thing. They just wanted something for some of the beginning students to play. They just wanted something for them to play. So they created a separate line for them to play. And over probably a couple months, I went up to a second violinist and then to a first violinist in no time. I had an amazing teacher, my first violin teacher, who was Mr. Rafiq. I call him Uncle Rafiq. Um, he is a, he's a professional violinist that, te that taught me when I was younger. And I mean, sometimes he'd play some wicked notes I was like okay I want to play that so that also allowed for more inspiration the first time we saw Stephen playing um, the violin was at an NYOJ event um, they usually have a family event at the end of each term to showcase all the work that the children do um, over the term and when we saw Stephen in the orchestra it just looked natural like that is where he's supposed to be how he held the violin and everything that just screamed Stephen 
when I knew that Stephen was good with this instrument um, one day we had a church function in Portmore or Portmore Assembly Apostolics in Praise and Stephen carried his instrument out of the blue and he, he just sat there and with the rest of the musicians who were being amplified and he just started playing and nobody was paying him any mind and one brother just walked up and put a mic right in front of Stephen and um, Stephen played and it just changed the entire atmosphere and I was like wow is that really Stephen <laughs> and when I heard that that was the breaking point for me I knew that Stephen was good to go. I didn't have to worry about Stephen. Didn't I say if you slip up, you must just go? That was the wrong note. Um, I, I think my best performance yet was my graduation. It was a solo performance. I played I played a million dreams, thank you. I played a million dreams by the show, The Greatest Showman. And when I was playing on the stage, I was just shaking. I was like, oh no, what, what is this? I was just there like this because it was my first solo piece as a violinist. So I was like, oh my gosh. But then I thought I, I, thought I was playing foolishness on the stage. And when I started to do the fast um, bowing, person started screaming I was like whoa Steven you go you go and I was like oh man I'm actually playing good so I continued playing and I played with more soul in it and stuff and at the end of it I even got a standing ovation blown away like we couldn't believe it we we're like where did you learn that from I think it, it was it was really exciting <laughs>